and welcome to the June Jones Show. With their leaders battered and bruised, nursing injuries, the Warriors had to dig deep. Defensive captain Michael Lafaele was on the sideline, and Colt Brennan left early in the second half, nursing that sprained ankle. But with the big guns out, Hawaii got the job done. Tyler Grunke came in and displayed Colt-like accuracy. This time, it was all cheers for the backup QB. And while it wasn't as dominating a performance as expected against a winless Utah State squad, the final score is the Warriors' six straight win. Ultimately meaning the dream is still alive. Here's a look at what's on tap tonight brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. We'll recap Grunke's heroics that led to four touchdowns for the Warriors. JJ's in studio to offer his perspective on the game and look ahead to next week's matchup with Dick Tomey and the San Jose Spartans. And we'll go under the helmet with Gaetan Galdera, a local boy whose giant impact on the field is little known outside Manoa. First, Colt Brennan entered this season as the driving force for Hawaii. And while a nagging injury took him off the field again Saturday night, Grunky stepped in and stepped up his play, proving the Warriors actually do have depth at quarterback. That's tonight's opening drive. Team 10, 5, touchdown! Groggy and sore, Colt left the game after this hit in the second quarter. One guy went low, one guy went high. When the guy hit me high, the guy low held onto my leg, so as I turned, my ankles were both right there, and the bad one just turned over, and um, you know, a bunch of sharp pain went down into my leg. So he went out, and Grunky came in. Brennan returned in the second half, but had to leave again as that ankle continued to swell. It was, I thought he was just going to be out a couple plays, and when Tyler, I threw, called two plays, and Tyler's through a strike, I said, okay, well, we'll just go that way. <laughs> Tyler did not disappoint, completing 9 of 11 passes for 246 yards. He also accounted for four touchdowns. Tonight I felt like I was playing my game out there. Everything was like my balls were going exactly where I wanted them to, and things were just flowing. Things were working out exactly like I you know, envisioned before the play, and um, that, it just rolled with it, man. Yeah. Jason Rivers returned from injury and caught seven passes for 130 yards and a trip to the end zone. In fact, he, C.J. Hawthorne, and Ryan Grace Mullen all topped the 100-yard mark. What was more impressive tonight, I think, than anything was uh, trying to tackle those receivers in the open field. I mean, you saw how much trouble we had with those guys. That was another one of our goals, just you know, t you know, make them throw the ball in front of you and then tackle the guy in the open field. We had, we had trouble at times, you know. Still, the Aggies were in it all the way until the third quarter. Hawaii's D gave up 370 yards of total offense on its home turf. You know, I feel like, you know, we could have done better, but, um, you know, every every night we, we come out there, we just got to shut teams down, you know. I don't know how many points we gave up, more than 30, and that's too much, you know. But the Aggies had extra motivation, and so will everyone else, as the Warriors now embark on the tougher half of the season. You know, we're, we're ranked, you know, and, and a lot of people think that we don't belong where we are, you know, so they're going to play the best game that they're going to play all year. Thanks, Steve. As we take a look inside the numbers brought to you by the University of Hawaii Federal Credit Union, Hawaii was once again able to get to the quarterback, racking up six sacks and 11 in the last two weeks. The Aggies did a nice job keeping the ball, holding it for 10 more minutes, and had 16 additional plays from scrimmage. As for the rankings, even with the win, the Warriors fell one spot in the coaches' poll to number 16. As for the Associated Press, they remained where they were last week also at number 16.